G'day everyone. So I learned German in high school and I was an extraordinarily average German speaker when I was in class. I was always really hesitant. I wasn't sure if I had the right word and I was a little afraid to mess up and look like an idiot. But one day at a party, I'd had a few drinks and I suddenly realized I'd become an awesome German speaker. Not only that, but I could suddenly play guitar really well and I developed this wickedly smart sense of humor. Alcohol has a bad reputation for making you worse at stuff or affecting your performance negatively. But, drinkers rejoice, it turns out that alcohol actually does improve your performance, but probably not in the way you'd expect. You might know the feeling. After about two drinks of alcohol, you start to loosen up and become better at everything. You feel more confident, you feel smarter and more attractive. Well, this is not just perception, actually it's science. There's a real improvement in some skills that happens when you've had a few drinks. The effect even has a name, the Barmer Peak, named after former Microsoft CEO Steve Barmer. Apparently he discovered that you become an outstanding coder after two or three drinks, but any more and it just gets a little messy. The Barmer Peak leverages a psychological phenomenon called the yerkes dodson Law, where optimal learning occurs at a certain level of brain arousal. So in the Barmer Peak, alcohol, in the right amounts, essentially provides the brain activity needed for optimal arousal. Of course, scientists have been super eager to test this one out and have validated the Barmer Peak phenomenon through fun alcohol-filled experiments that I'm kind of sad I wasn't invited to. One study from the University of Illinois tested the creative problem-solving ability of a group of men doing brain teaser puzzles. Half of the 40 men watched a movie with enough vodka cranberries to give them a blood alcohol concentration of 0 0.075, whilst the control group watched the movie sober. According to the study, the guys that were drinking averaged nine brain teasers correct, whereas the control group only got six correct puzzles. The drinking group also solved those puzzles faster, taking an average of 11.5 seconds instead of 15.2 seconds. Go team alcohol. Professor Jennifer Wiley, who led the study, noted that functioning at a moderate level of intoxication enhances what we call the brain's working memory capacity, or how well you can pay attention to a specific thing. So for stuff like brain teasers, coding, speaking German, playing musical instruments, and other short-term tasks, your brain under the influence of alcohol can actually become better at developing new, creative strategies and solutions. But alcohol is known as a depressant, not a stimulant. So how does a depressant make your brain work faster? Well, think about it this way. Your brain is very concerned about keeping you alive. An uninhibited caveman who spontaneously decides to go see what's in that cave over there is probably gonna get mauled by a bear and die. Whereas the inhibited, cautious caveman might make his decisions a little bit more slowly, but he's also more likely to stay alive. But when your brain is under the influence of alcohol, the chemistry changes and you become less cautious. That's a really bad idea if you're a caveman, considering whether or not fighting a bear is a good idea. But in today's idiot-proof world, alcohol's effects can have some benefits, like answering brain teasers faster, without worrying that you could be wrong. Considering more radical solutions to problems, expressing language, dancing, computer coding, and performing music, without worrying about hitting a wrong note. One thing that alcohol definitely doesn't help you with is driving, so don't drink and drive, guys. It also impacts your ability to form memories, which is why when we're drunk, we're more confident on the dance floor, but bad at remembering how we got home. Also because we're less cautious when we're a little tipsy, we're more likely to have just one more drink. And soon enough, you find yourself on the other side of the Barma Peak when you're so drunk that it impacts your performance in a negative way. Just remember that there's a fine line between having a decent buzz and not remembering anything that happened the night before. So drink responsibly, people. Have you yourself ever experienced the Barma Peak in action? What did you do? Did you become a ping pong champion, fluent in French, suddenly develop mad skills at Minecraft? What was it like? Let us know in the comments below. Hi everyone, I'm Jade Lovell, resident science nerd on the Young Turks Network. You're watching SciQ and we know you don't want to miss an episode, so please click the subscribe button down below.